to my Facebook Live. I'm just going to wait a couple of minutes for everyone to come in. And um, I've got my glamorous assistant, Abby, with me to this afternoon. She's going to um, control the phone and if anybody's got any questions, she's going to read them out to me. Just comment in the comment box below. Uh, we haven't got anyone on yet, so it's fine. Oh, that was a good practice. <laughs> she needs to make people join. Oh, I'll join as well. A minute. Bobby's going to join. You have to wait a few minutes, that's all, because it lags, doesn't it? Come with him in here, are you? Oh, we've got someone in. We've got someone who's joined. Hello! I don't know if that's me. Was that you? Uh, not sure yet. Um, oh, you've got two people. You've got me, you've got someone else. I don't know who else is on yet. Just wait a couple of minutes. Just waiting a couple of minutes for people to join. I'm not, I'm not belong. Oh, we've got a few people. We've got four people coming in now. Maybe just explain that we've got um, a few people that are waiting for a few people to join if you want to join. Good afternoon. Welcome to my little studio. We're just waiting for some people to join before we make a start. As I said, I've got my glamorous assistant Abby with me this afternoon. She's controlling the phone and the recordings. And if anybody's got any questions they want to ask, just pop them into the comment box and she will read them out to me and I'll try and answer the best I can. Mm -hmm. We've got five people now. Oh, six. Just have to give it a few minutes because it lags behind. Mm -mm -mm. Well, you can do whatever. You can do whatever. Yeah, yeah, I don't do whatever. know. This is all new to me. I'm sorry. It's the first one I've done, so I'm very nervous. <laughs> I'm very scared. And I'm sure Abby's going to make me laugh at some point this afternoon. <laughs> so, but what I will explain to you is the arrangement I was going to do is uh, has been scrapped because I've uh, been, after my post yesterday on Facebook, offering flowers for funerals for people that can't get their funeral flowers, I'm donating them to a couple of funerals next week. So instead, we're going to make um, a lady's corsage or buttonhole. As I say, the flowers I'm going to use have now been donated to funerals for next week. I can't see anything worse than people having funerals and not having any flowers. So, um, unfortunately, we can't get all the flowers at the moment because all the wholesalers have closed down. Like everyone else, we're changing our working days and our way of living by we're staying at home. So, and have we got Abby joining? Uh, we've got nine at the moment. Nine, nine I think people. We'll, uh, make a little start. Yeah. So, first of all, I'm going to. Um, it's a bit of a colour mismatch because I'm just picking what flowers I've got left from um, Mother's Day last week. And um, thank you all, by the way, for who put orders in and we delivered them to you. I hope you all had a, a good day under the circumstances. So, what I've got here is I've got a carnation. This is actually broken from one of my flowers, so I've saved it. Um, can use it in arrangements and everything, even though they do break. So first of all, I'm going to just snip my carnation there, so I've got it nice and small. I'm going to take one of the wires and I'm going to pop it through. Just get a thicker wire, just bear with me one second, that's bending. Through the top of the carnation, as you can see. So we've got carnation suspended on wire. I'm going to bring the wires down if you can see so it's like a bit like a hairpin. I'm going to leave one on the on the bottom and then I'm going to twist it round three times so it secures the wire around the carnation. What we do then is we get what we call stem tape and we just tape all the wire all the way down to the bottom. This is really fun, this um, stem tape. It's nice and sticky, particularly in summer when your hands are hot. You can't pick anything up because it just sticks to everything. So there we have carnation on the wire. I've now got a lovely purple Lysianthus or Eustoma, which I'm going to use for the arrangement as well. I really like these because they're coming even though it's one flower, it's got different shapes and everything. So we've got one open, one that's semi-open, a little bit white, and some little buds. So I'm going to use those to just give 
a different look to it. So again, we're taking a wire and we're sticking it through again, the way we did with the carnation. And again, bringing it down. Do you want me to just bring the camera in a bit so you can see what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. Yes, that works. Just to show what you're on about. So when you're on about the wires. So you can see we've got the wires mm -hmm. there through the, the flower and get the stem tape and then cover that again with there is a knack to this if you've been to one of my but no workshops you'll know mm -hmm. how how fun it is to try and get that technique on the wire and again the same through the main flower Wrap it down three times, as you can see, it's like a hairpin, and then we cover with stem tape. I, all you, I hope you're all keeping safe and finding plenty of things to do <laughs> while you're staying at home. I've been out in the garden; it's been it's been lovely. So, oh, oh, we've just lost a screw off the uh, tripod. <laughs> There's so quite what, a few more people that have joined. Maybe just explain what you're making. Hello, I'm mm. Carol Wickham from Wickham and Taylor. I'm just making a ladies' corsage. Ooh. I was going to do um, a parallel arrangement, but as I said earlier, before you joined, I've donated all my flowers for some funerals for next week. So we've, we're just making a, a ladies' corsage. Mm -hmm. I did. I have set up. Sorry, I'm just doing that again, just rewiring these exactly the same and covering with scent tape. I did set up, prior to all this um, uncertainty, some flower clubs, which I'm running once a month, so you can come along and join in and just make some flower arrangements and just basically have a bit of chill time. It's so good for the mental health and well-being. It's flowers, it just shuts you away into a, a different world of flowers. So I've now got a freesia. I'm just looking a little bit battered because I've had it a few days. Um, but the smell on these, I wish we've got smell in these <laughs> because you'd be able to smell how much it, how lovely it is. But it's such a lovely shape and it's used quite a lot in weddings. So this, we, we are wiring it, but we're wiring it different. We're actually, if you can see, we're slotting it through. <laughs> Sorry, we've just, the tripod's falling apart. So we're just slotting it through that bit there bringing the wire down again and wrapping it round three times. So if anybody's got any questions, you can just comment in the comment box and Abby will read it out to me. I'll try and answer it the best I can. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, again, covering that with a stem tape. So as you can see, we're getting a nice little collection of flowers that we can put together on the corsage. With ladies' corsages, you can do you can use them quite quite differently. You can um, have them on your wrist, you can have them as a pin, you can have it on your handbag, your hat. It's they're so versatile. So this, so just going back to my flowers, this flower is a verbena. And I'm just, it's lovely and pink, lovely shape. So it's going to give us a nice shape when we put it together with the freesia. Yes, again, we're wiring, pushing it through, and bringing it down. Everything that we do for weddings, corsages, head garlands, buttonholes, everything is wired and covered in stem tape. <laughs> so you can imagine what it's like if we've got a wedding and every, every guest of about 70 has got a buttonhole. It's quite <laughs> time consuming, but fun. Sorry, I know little bits of flowers are coming off, but as I said, they're quite, I've had these a couple of weeks now. And, um, they've lasted well so, though. Yeah, they have lasted very well. because. We do what we call condition flowers, which helps them um, strip them all down, feed them every couple of days, change the water, so that it makes it, we make them last longer and we look after them. So we've now got some gypsophila, gyp, as Americans call it, baby breath, whatever you, you would like to call it. So again, this adds a different look and a different texture to the, the flowers. So I'm just taking a little bit piece like that, and again, <laughs> A wire, anchoring the wire on that branch there, very delicately, and bringing down, wrapping round. Someone said, "Looking fab, Carol." Oh, thank you, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Got I've eighteen put, people now. I've put me, I've put me slap on today just for this. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You don't have to win yourself isolating up matter all season, does it? <laughs> you know, Abby, Martin and Buffy. <laughs> so again, we're just taping that up there. So I'm going to do a few of these for when we put it together, the jip. Again, on that branch there, bringing that down, just get rid of some of the stem because we want as little stem as possible. Otherwise, you'll end up with quite a bulky corsage. Again, we'll just wrap that round. My Mother's Day flowers are still good a week on. Excellent. <laughs> good to hear. So I moved from my shop last June. Um, we converted the garage to this my little studio, which you can see. It's not quite finished yet because we've been busy and working in it, but who knows, it might get finished now. <laughs> um, and it's a, it's, a lot, it's a lot better. Most of my orders come online or via social media or through the phone, so it was a bit silly really having uh, sat in the shop waiting for footfall. And because of that, I've been able to do lots of other different things like more workshops. Uh, I, I qualified last year as an area demonstrator for NAFAS, which is one of the big flower clubs of, of Britain, so I can go around the northeast now and demonstrate, which I did my first one in February, but unfortunately some more had to be cancelled because of the, the situation that we're in. But I've got plenty for next year, plenty to keep me going. So we'll uh, even one in the Isle of Man, which is not in the northeast, if anybody's good at geography. So I'm, I'm going. <laughs> so I'm now going to put a little bit of foliage with all this so we can pull it all together. So this is Dracaena. It's variegated, which I'm going to do I'm going to cut three. because I'm going to do one. Just use this big one here. Cutting on the diagonal, I'm going to do one for the back of the corsage and the other two for the front. So the biggest one, which is, oops, sorry, is that one. I'm going to use that for the, the back one. So how do you do that? How do you wire that one? I will wire that one. So literally I'm doing, as if you're sewing, I'm doing a little stitch there, through mm -hmm. the back and through, mm. through the leaf. It may rip. I mean, Ivy's really good for this because it does have a, have a vein that runs down the back, but I'm using this Dracaena. And I'm just going to, again, wire that round but as you can see my wire is not very long so I'm going to just get another another wire thread that through that loop there where I've just mm. joined it and then again just wire round to just to make my wire that little bit longer so we can manipulate it and use it and again cover with stem tape So with that wire there, it will enable me to, to be able to bend it and shape it when we put it all, it all together. So we've got one there. Uh, someone said, can you tell me more about the workshops, please? Obviously for when this thing settles, PS, loving this. Right, the workshops I do, um, I try to do them seasonally so that uh, we were going to do a spring basket, we were going to do a Easter arrangement, but they've had to be cancelled. So I, and until we know for definite what's happening, I would say, think the next ones are going to be autumn time and I've got some dates booked in. So we're going to be making a pumpkin table centerpiece arrangement round about Ooh. Halloween. But um, the, the clubs themselves, which are going to be set up monthly, are basically just to come along, meet people, do some flower arranging and I will, I will bring everything with, I always bring all the um, materials and everything, you get something to take away. So it, it, it depends, sometimes, you know, somebody might have a request what they want to do in the club. Mm. So we'll, we'll do that the, the following month. We've just in, in the process of getting a new website, um, we're building it ourselves. So we will be putting, which will enable to put all the workshops on and all the details. So uh, watch this space in a few mm. a month or so. I hope that answers your question. Are they run by you, the workshops, yes, or are they run by... they're run by me, right, totally okay. by me. Um, and... Any weddings or anything that we do, everything's done by me, not mm -hmm. anybody else. It's just Martin does help. Um, he's my gopher, so he uh, he does help with everything else that way. So you can assure if you do book a wedding or anything that everything's done personally by my, by myself. Um, so yeah, that's that's us a little bit. So this one we're going to do it a little bit different. Um, I wanted to use these at the front and give a different look. So I'm bending the leaf over. And I'm just again pinching the wire and wrapping it round there. So we've now got around a nice 
shape of that um, leaf. Go into my elements and principles of design that you taught when you learned when you taught to be a florist. That is giving me some enclosed space there. If you can, if you can mm -hmm. see, we do talk about all of this at the uh, flower clubs and the demonstrations. We do talk about texture and different designs and everything. So I'm just doing another one, a smaller one. Also, with my workshops, what I'm bringing in as well is um, is wedding themed. If you want to have a different hen party, have your hens coming along and making an arrangement. They can make you their own bouquets, they can make mm. the centrepieces, they get to take them away. And it's a little bit personal as well if it's your wedding. They're doing the centrepieces by all you know, your guests or your best friends or, or anything. So that's something else we're bringing on board this year. So there we are. We've got two of those and one of those that I'm, that I'm doing. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put do a little bit of ribbon for inside the corsage. I'm going to do, just do one because we're going to use ribbon as well. So I'm just making a little bow, as you can see, just a little bow there. And again, just pinching it and wiring it. Mm -hmm. I hope you're liking the music in the background, it's a bit of Disney piano. <laughs> so I've just twisted that so we've got, um, and then I'll trim so it's an even, even bow. This is a little bit blunt. And again, we're wrapping with stem tape. Why do you wrap it with the stem tape? Why? Why? Yeah. It's, it's to protect the wire. Mm. It's also, it blends in so it's, I know that my wires are green, but sometimes I've got silver wires or some mm. that are coated. So everything's a nice green colour, but we can get brown, we can get, I use silver on the ones that I use for mm. the little flower girls, um, so it all, all blends in. And also it's it's a safety net as well because it protects the, the wearer from the oh, wire. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll just do one more with the anthus, I'll use stone. These look like little roses, they're so pretty. I actually love these flowers. I'm trying to grow some. We've been, last few days, we've been sowing lots and lots and lots of seeds to try and um, brighten the front of the studio up, which, this is my garage, so I've got another one like that. And then, again, I'm going to tape that with the stem tape. So now I've got all my materials that I'm going to use in the corsage I've got. The focal flower, which is the carnation, normally use a rose. Carnations are just as nice. I've um, got a lovely white freesia, some lysianthus, in, all from more or less the same stem, but different shapes and different um, arrangements. I've got a verbena, nice pink, pointy one, and some gypsophila and a nice pink bow and some foliage. So now I'm going to put this all together. So I'm going to start with the um, Dracaena full leaf and I'm going to pop the freesia there. And the thing about the stem tape is, now it's all together as well, because there's another reason you do it. If you just press it like that, it sticks. So as you can see now they're stuck together. Oh. And it helps uh, with the design. So I'm going to get two of my buds from my mesianthus and I'm going to pop that just to the left. You can, this is the fun bit. You can you can just play about. It around sorry. Yeah. You can just play about with it, mess about with it. If you're not happy when you've done it before you finish it all off, you can take it back to pieces. Say so just squeeze that and it sticks. I'm going to get my carnation and just bring that down a little bit so that it's coming as you can see it's now starting to come come together a bit of jip i'm going to pop that on the right hand side do you literally just guess where to put it do you just yeah, put you it can where just, you think just design it yourself put it where mm. as long as you've got the focal flower you can then design it how how you want i'm going to pop that back to the back as well so I brought that in from the left right hand side i'm just doing it backwards so mm. it's uh, as, you, as i said you can you can see I can I could bend that if I wanted to, so it'd look like that, or I could strain it because I've got oh, yeah, that wire yeah. that helps stabilise it. Miss Gemma says clever lady. 
<laughs> Thank you, Miss Gemma. <laughs> I hope you like your flowers you picked yourself. <laughs> I'm popping nice purple. Full is the anthers there. Just have a quick look at it this way so I can see what it's uh, starting to look like. And then mm. another bit of chip there. As you can see, my hands are getting sticky, so you can just imagine what it's like in summer. And I'm going to pop my little bow there. Just so it's love them, side. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to use one of my curled leaves. As you can see, it's all nicely coming together now as a corsage. And we'll bring that in. And then that one. And finally, I'm going to pop that at the at, just at the side there, if you can see. Can you see I've popped it in at the left-hand side yeah. there? And then finally, my final leaf there. So that's my corsage that I've pulled together. So what I do now is tape, again, all <laughs> that together. You don't, I mean, we don't want it this long, so wire cutters. If I wanted it as a, I'll just bring that down a little bit further. If I wanted it as a pink corsage, so it would go like that on a lady on the right. I know it's, this sounds sexist, but what I always remember the right because the lady's always right, and that's where it goes. <laughs> so that'll go like that, and I'll cut it off there. But I'm going to do a wrist corsage, so I'm just going to cut it so it's short. Just get my. Muscles out. Muscles out. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not cut in. Just do them separate then. I might work with my scissors actually better. Let's try that. There we are. So as we can see, we've got the wires. I'll just trim that one off. I'll just get the tape again. I'm a messy worker as well, by the way. Um, I like a nice neat space, but I am a messy worker. So what I'm doing then, I'm bringing the tape down and underneath so that it's not sharp. So there's no stabbing in anybody. And I'm going to just then bring, if you can just take that off and just you do it. Because it's just curling up, my hands are sticking together. So I'm bringing that down again, down there and Bring it back up and we can just squash it down so we've got a nice finish at the bottom and it's safe it'll not scratch anybody mm -hmm. or anything if that was a pin one i wouldn't then cover that with ribbon and but it's not going to be so we're going to do it on the wrist and you don't want to see me use a glue gun because it's just <laughs> a nightmare i get it everywhere I burn my fingers and everything it's not a pretty sight so we're, we're actually going to do uh, a ribbon wrist one you can also get bracelets in which we wire on, but this is just quicker just to show you what to do. So here's one I prepared earlier. Got some <laughs> nice pink ribbon. I'm going to fold it in half so it's easier to tie. And I'm literally going to, sorry, I'll just come round this way. Tie that on the corsage. So how you would wear it, I can't do this myself, but how would you, you would wear it. So we've got that nicely done. I would trim that, I'll just trim it so it's nice. And you can either do that or you can have a fishtail trim, which I'll just do, which we fold in half. And then that's your fishtail one rather than your straight one. So you can have it either way. Mm. And I've just stabbed my finger, look, as you can see, so I do apologize. <laughs> Dangerous game, this. Blood, sweat and tears. Yes. Literally. So you would wear it on your wrist and this would come round and fold round and you would tie it in a... You would, I can't do it with one hand. <laughs> you would tie it in a bow there so you would have it round your wrist with that as a nice little bow on, on your wrist. Well, there we are. There we have the ladies' corsage. Ooh. I hope you've enjoyed what I've done. Has anybody got any questions they'd like to ask while while I'm here? Give everyone a second because uh, it lags a bit. 
I don't think there's any questions. I think everyone's pretty happy with it. I hope, I hope you all, you've all enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. If you have, please like and please like and share my page. I'm open to do another one next week. It will not be flowers. It will be something made out of foliage. I'll be scrounging around the garden looking for foliage. That's uh, if you if you've enjoyed it, you'd like to see another one next week. Um, I'll, I'll be here same same time, two o'clock next Thursday. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Should I put Buffy on? No, Buffy. Yeah, we need Buffy. She's fast asleep. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>